Вітаю, пані та панове. This is Ukrainian Spirit and we continue our journey into the world of craft Ukrainian alcohol. Today, as usual, we are in the beautiful Carpathian Mountains in Transcarpathia region, Zakarpathia, as we call it here in Ukraine. We're sitting on a ranch. There is a cute little pony behind me, but today's video is still the Genyo Tavovkulaka distillery drinks. And we have already one of those beer distillates that they have, but today we're gonna review other two. So stay tuned and let's find out more, shall we? So, beer distillates. Uh, I'm not entirely sure <laughs> what are those things, in fact, because uh, in addition to actual label here, we have some kind of manual scribblings on top. And I'm not sure if they just reused the bottle or the label, or those are, in fact, beer distillates with some kind of additives. But in my opinion, it makes my job, my journey even more interesting. So I'll start with the lighter colored one. Uh, really nice, like uh, honey color. And uh, just a reminder, Genyo Tavok Tulaka is a small uh, family-owned distillery in Kyiv region. It's a small village Dotrici, Selo Dotrici, in Kyiv region, capital region. And Genyo is supposedly is the man who actually makes the distillates. And Bokpulaka is uh, in Ukrainian a werewolf <laughs> and supposedly a, a professor who turned to werewolf and only drinks made by his friend Genyo were able to save him and convert him back to being human. So, oh, yeah, I think it actually has something to do with beer or with whiskey because beer Distillate essentially is a whiskey, not really, but something along those lines. Similarly to this one, it is heavily, heavily influenced with herbs that they have added. So this one it had uh, more of a licorice uh, smell and taste. Uh, this one is more like a wormwood. Uh, but still quite sweet. So we have uh, kind of young grain whiskey or maybe blended whiskey uh, mixed together with a really nice warm wood or uh, some kind of herb bitter. It is very sweet on the nose, very fragrant, very intense. Imagine whiskey and herbal bitter mixed together and uh, rested together because they are not competing, they work together, so the taste. It is very sweet, not too much, but quite sweet. It's bitter, so herbal bitterness, almost pepperiness. It's like chewing on a handful of really bitter aromatic herbs. It reminds of hop, actually. It's almost like I'm chewing hops. So, you know, this bitterness and fragrance that unmistakably comes from hops, I sense it here. I'm not sure if it's something similar to hops or if it, in fact, uh, matured or allowed to sit together with hops. But it's, it is very interesting. And um, the alcohol, the distillate, which was used to make, uh, to bring this drink together, I cannot verify if it was indeed beer. Yeah, it's hard to tell because the aroma of herbs and the sweetness mask the alcohol very well. Uh, so you get uh, only burning sensation in your chest and in your mouth but not much uh, in terms of uh, realizing what kind of alcohol it is so it could have been uh, regular vodka as well but yeah it couldn't be vodka because it has this distillate substance uh, something more like 
deeper, more engaging spirit than just your plain, typical, very heavily processed vodka or any other rectificate. It is very interesting drink. I can imagine sipping it on its own, uh, but this bitterness that uh, I'm left with in my mouth suggests that it will go really well together with beer, especially Pilsner uh, type of beer, which is uh, predominant in Eastern European countries like uh, Czechia, Slovakia, Poland, Ukraine. We really like those bright, uh, light, but very hoppy flavors. So something like uh, Pilsner Urkvel from Czechia, or maybe in Ukraine there is a famous Zhihulivske beer, which is similar in the profile to Pilsner Urkvel. Um, so it is very interesting drink. It is definitely feels like beer uh, distilled, but of course it, it was kind of made to taste like beer with addition of herbs and potentially hops. Um, so I really enjoyed this one. And I see you again for the next one quite soon. So stay tuned and as usual, good morning.